Cancer, welcome back to Shacy Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. I hope you also become a subscriber. Thanks to all of you who continually to support the channel. I really appreciate you all. Let's go ahead and get started. It's so in the honor of month of love. I'm going to pull the Heart Oracle uh, deck here and let's see what the messages are in love. I'm going to pull three. Okay, so the first message you choose, Cancer, is going to be your strongest message you're meant to hear, your second, your second, your third, your third. Cross watchers are welcome here, whether you're looking in on a Cancer, whether you're checking your other placements, you're all welcome here. Let's see what's going on. I appreciate you all. I have a strong Cancer placement as well. Let's see what the messages are. So I'm going to pull, don't go anywhere, stay till the end of the reading, because I'm going to pull messages of what's going on in your energy, in new love, in existing love, or somebody you have a connection with that you're kind of curious about mutual energies between you and that person and finance and career so we're going to get the updated messages from the last reading let's see what's going on i'm also going to pull the tarot charms i'm going to pull whatever i feel pulled to call all right so if this resonates for you there will be a part two i'll get more into that in a little bit let's go ahead and get started cancer let's see what's happening so hit that like button support your fellow cancerians not does it only help your fellow Cancerians to find these messages and if it helps you it definitely need to help others but it also helps others to understand your energy better okay so it's a win-win situation so you really do need to support one another let's go ahead and get started I'm as anxious as you are all right first message if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul. Isn't that the truth? That is most definitely the truth. I think many of us try to ignore that, um, but most water signs, you intuitively just, you know that, right? Second message. <laughs> Some people try to ignore this. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment, okay? Because sometimes we can let our emotions get the best of us. And that's why we tend to close off because then, you know, it can't hurt us, right? But at the same time, can't it? Ignoring it doesn't make it go away. It's always going to be there until you deal with it, right? I do want to remind you that these messages may play out from your perspective or those of whoever you're dealing with. Anybody in your energy can show up in this reading. If it doesn't resonate now, it definitely can in the future. I've had many repeat clients say, this has resonated and then this came, this happened later. So keep that in mind. Go look at the reviews at shacy.com. If you want a personal reading, it's entirely up to you. It definitely is more, uh, you know, it's closer to your energy because I calculate your birth chart. But these are general, so some will resonate, some may not. That's just life. It's a general reading. Thousands are watching these messages, so keep that in mind, okay? Anyway, ooh, Cancer, new beginning, hello. A new adventure awaits. Nice, embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Ooh, we'll take that one, claim that one. <laughs> Write it down in the comments below, right there, to claim it, yep. I'm going to read it again. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Awesome. We'll take it, won't we? Absolutely. All right. So this is going to be your energy with the person that's on your mind, Cancer. Let's see what's going on in yours and their energy for Cancer, the person they're currently dealing with or is on Cancer's mind presently. What are the messages for Cancer? This is a 1970s Aquarian deck. So they're 53 years old now. I think that's awesome. I have a real thing for vintage decks. Let's see what's going on for Cancer and their person of interest. Whatever is on their mind for the balance of February and the spirits. What are the updated messages for Cancer? What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Cancer? What are the updated messages with their person of interest? What do they need to know? What are the updated messages from the last reading for Cancer? Don't forget to go ahead and check the playlist. If you know your other placements, go into Shacy Tarot. Go check the playlist for those other placements. I totally encourage you to check them out. You can get a whole picture rather than just a piece of the puzzle. You get the fitting pieces. It helps you to kind of understand a little bit better maybe what's going on in your energy now again or in the future okay so astrosofa.com if you don't know what your other placements are you can calculate them there very nice you have nine of cups so we have wish fulfillment possibly coming in new beginning all right spirit wants you to go after it with passion very nice clarify the nine of cups you could be dealing with another water sign 
Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Three of Cups. Oh my gosh, wish fulfillment, possible celebration. Cancer, this is beautiful. Clarify Three of Cups for Cancer. Wow, this person wants to come in and give you a gift of some sort. Something tangible, something you can touch. It can be like, you know, just as simple as a bunch of roses. It could be a promise ring. You know, they could take you out for dinner and, and give you a necklace. Um, a bracelet. Whatever. Like, this is something tangible. It's kind of like, let's have a good time. It's Your wishes are coming true. Spirit wants you to live your dreams with absolute passion. Go for the Page of Pentacles. What does this offer? Oh, this person is anxious to move things forward with you. It's like, can we just leave this behind and go this way instead? You know, like whatever happened between you and them in the past, or if there's something that happened in their past, they're ready to let that, that go. They're like, they're anxious to say, I'm done with that. I'm over it and move on. I feel like this person has gone through a great deal of stress and I feel like they're a little hot under the collar. Female, male, it doesn't matter. It's just a saying. Could be possible relocation if you're at a distance here, but this is like, I'm ready to let the past go, whatever stress there's been. I just want to move on and I'm anxious to do so. So you definitely have someone from um, that you're thinking about here that looks at you as their wish fulfillment and they they want to get this party started they really do um, they they definitely know that you have very strong emotions and um, I feel like if there was some stress between the two of you they want to leave that behind or again if there's somewhere that they're coming from that has been very stressful they're very anxious to leave that behind bottom of the deck the hero font some of you could be dealing with a Taurus I have strong Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here, as well as, again, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. So somebody could have strong water placements, air placements, and earth placements here. This is somebody that may be moving on from a marriage or commitment, or they want to bring you marriage and commitment for the future with that Page of Pentacles. They're very serious about your connection. Woo! Claim that one. That sounds beautiful. That is very nice. Let's get the mutual energies between you and them and a loving guidance message. What are the mutual energies between Cancer and the person on your mind, angels and spirit? For the balance of February, what are the updated messages between Cancer and the person they're dealing with? I'm using the Shacy Prism Tarot deck. That's available at Shacy.com. I always use it for the mutual energies. What is going on? Please, angels and spirits, between Cancer and the person they're dealing with. How are they mirroring one another when it comes to their connection? What is going on between Cancer and a person of interest? How are they mirroring one another? Their hopes, dreams, wishes, and fears in this connection. What do we need to know? So in part two, I'll be digging into March, obviously, and we'll see what happened possibly in February to see if we're getting further ahead here, if there's any action being taken forward. I do feel like there's action showing up here. You know, swords are about thoughts. It's it's um, intellect. So this is like, you know, I'm I'm ready to move towards my wish fulfillment and I'm thinking about marriage and commitment for the future. This is what I'm getting. So I feel like these this could possibly be thoughts right now. So we'll see if there's any action in March. But again, let's get the mutual energies and see. So part two is available down below in the comment section as well as in the description area. For those of you that wish to join the Shacy Spiritual Warrior membership family gives you unlimited part twos. Um, you pay monthly. And again, you can watch for your other placements, whatever you want to do. They're all there for the picking. And um, yeah, and then if for those of you that wish to just purchase one time, uh, that is be up in the upper right hand corner of your screen. It'll say part two, watch now at the end of this reading. Again, it doesn't matter to me. You know, it's all an option you all asked for. Some of you wanted the pay as you go kind of reminds me of the options for the phone, right? Pay monthly or pay as you go. They're both there. So um, whatever you want to do, it doesn't matter to me. It's all an option. So let's see what's going on mutually. What is going on mutually? Wow, you both feel like you are each other's rightful path. You both want to take the action here. Okay, you both want to move things forward. And we got that with the Six of Swords. So whatever happened here, it's like, leave it behind. Let's go here. Yeah, let's take the action. Let's move forward to our rightful path here towards each other is what I'm getting. You're both feeling that way. Okay, you may be both very guarded, very protective. 
you know, maybe you're very protective of this connection, making final decisions, waking up to this connection, wanting a second chance with each other. If things were a little bit rough because the rough, it was a little bit rough waters before you just, you just want to leave that. Yeah. You want to totally leave that behind. Look at that. This is beautiful. So you're moving past the chaos, past the challenges here. You're ready to start new with here with each other and have that equal give and take here. You both may be heavy into meditation because it has been stressful. You may have taken up meditation or that's just something that you're passionate about or spirit is saying that's something that you both need to do. Okay. Um, you both may have gone through a spiritual awakening and you both want a fresh start. Now that you've gone through it, that means you've learned your lessons. You know, you've, you've kind of learned from each other and learned each other's love languages or you will soon. Again, this may not have happened yet, but wow, this is beautiful. Okay. Let's pull a couple of tarot charms for your overall energy for Cancer for February. The updated messages, angels and spirits. Yeah. You're ready both, I feel here, to cut through the crap, let go of whatever is not working. This is the sword of truth. It's the sword of victory. It's the sword of a breakthrough of mental clarity. You know, I'm becoming very clear that uh, in order to move forward here and have this new beginning, I need to cut out whatever's not working. I've become clear that I need to la leave the past behind. And this is my wish. Somebody's realizing you're their wish. Very nice. Wow. Look at this. Success, money, happiness. Yeah. You've got beautiful things coming, Cancer. This is so awesome. Okay. So I feel right now you kind of don't know that. We've got the moon here. So Spirit wants you to know if there's silence right now. It's because this could be all mental thoughts on your person's part here with the Knight of Swords and Six of Swords here, but they definitely know and want to tell you that they love you. Wow. So they could come in with a message. That could be why the sword is here. They want to give you the clarity um, because they've hidden their emotions so far. They want to tell you that they love you. Okay. And again, with the Page of Pentacles, they want to prove it in a tangible way. Gemini energy. They may have strong Gemini in their chart, or maybe you do, or they're taking on the energy of Gemini, which doesn't surprise me because we have intelligence here. And like I said, we have the sword. So they're definitely thinking, you know, you are my wish fulfillment uh, cancer, and I want to offer this to you. And they're realizing that they're, they're going through this awakening process of knowing what they need to do. And I feel like if things were rough again before, they want a second chance with you and vice versa. We have the letter T. Some of you may be dealing with somebody named Tammy, Tara, Tom, Terry, Tanya. Did I say Tanya? That's what's coming to me. Mm. Tangible. Wow. There you go. Something tangible. They're terrified. But they also feel like their soul is tortured right now. Because it's been rough. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, that's all I'm getting. All right, let's go ahead to um, new love. New love for cancer. What's going on for cancer? For cancer that wants new love, what are the messages, please? Angel Spirits, I'm using the gold foil deck. Okay. For cancer, what's going on for new love for cancer? What do they need to know? What are the newest messages for February 2023 for cancer? Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. I forgot to mention that. Some of my repeat clients have told me that for some reason the bell was turned off so they weren't getting the notification. So make sure you do that or else you will not be notified every time a reading comes out for you, okay? And subscribing, like I said, is free. So if you're not a new subscriber, I'd love to have you as one part of our Shacy Spiritual family here. That would be awesome. Let's see what's going on for Cancer and New Love for the month of February. And by the way, I'm a Scorpio, but you kicked our butts already this month with <laughs> liking the video and the views that was really awesome you know i have a lot of family members who are cancer and like i said i have a strong cancer placement so i resonate quite well and understand cancerians very very well my brothers and my sister is a cancer so Let's see what's going on angel spirits new love for cancer Ooh, it's a mystery okay many of you are having a new beginning though new adventure mm. You may be kind of exhausted right now, just kind of needing to take a break, Spirit is saying. Maybe you've been dating too much. I don't know, but let's see. Four of Swords. 
I feel like you've been heartbroken. You've just been heartbroken. You're just kind of wanting to take a chill out here right now. Okay. And it can be with um, somebody from your past here that you're just deciding to move on from here. It could be. It could have just been, you know, heartbreaking for you. Why is the Four of Swords here for Cancer? Maybe Spirit's saying you need to take a break from love. It's, it's not time right this minute. Just rest right. Use this time to rest. Yeah, I feel like you're really trying to trust your intuition. There's that moon. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, what was I saying about the moon right here? Okay, so I feel like, you know, you need to trust your intuition with the high priestess and the moon. There's certain things here that are hidden from you right now. And so spirit's telling you just to take a break. Okay, take a break. There's nothing wrong with, with taking a break and um, maybe doing some meditation here for some of you. There are certain things that you're not meant to know here that you need to trust your intuition on. The high priestess is a keeper of secrets. Maybe you feel like there's been secrets. There's things that have been hidden and you're just heartbroken. You just want to take a rest right now. So spirit's saying maybe you're not ready for new love here just yet. Okay. But I do feel like you're going to get some clarity. There's going to be a new beginning here for you with, again, the sword here. Okay. There's going to be some kind of a breakthrough for you after a rest period here. Clarify the moon for cancer for new love. Is there new love? Yeah, you're trying to manifest. I feel like you 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 have everything within your power. You're resting, you're meditating, you're trusting your intuition. It's like bring it on. Bring it on. You're trying to manifest. What's cancer trying to manifest? What's cancer trying to manifest? What do we got for cancer with the magician here? interesting okay i feel like you're standing up to anything toxic you know you're gonna you're gonna fight for what you want um spirit's definitely telling you if you're not doing that you need to do that stand your ground and realize how important you are and i feel like if you've gone through a recent breakup or you've been hurt before i feel like spirit's telling you to take a time of rest here and trust your intuition there's nothing wrong with resting right now some of you may have been through a very toxic pattern or you're currently going through it. Spirit's saying you're not ready for new love here. You will be. But right now is a time of rest here for you and trusting your intuition and realizing your own inner strength and power. Realizing that absolutely stand up for yourself here against anybody or anything toxic. Person, place, thing. Okay. Um, I feel like you're really disappointed right now and you're just, you're needing to rest. This is the message I'm getting. So many of you, if you think you're ready for new love, spirit's saying you're not. So if this isn't your message, it's not your message, but that's definitely the message I'm getting here. It's very crystal clear. Okay. I'm going to get a love guidance and advice message for you as well. Yeah. Wow. What did I say? It's very, very clear. And up comes the ace of swords. So you have the sword twice. So I feel like you're becoming very, very clear that things haven't been in a healthy spot for you. Um, and I feel like you're having certain regrets here. And I feel like spirit is making sure that you're going to stand your ground and speak your truth to anybody and, um, and, and cut out any toxic energy here. Okay. Manifest what it is you want and take this time to rest. I feel like Spirit's really telling you that you're just not ready for new love at this time. You do have a new beginning coming and a new adventure awaits, but rest first. Heal first. Okay, you've been through a lot. I do feel like you have something coming in though. There is, oh, somebody could be coming to you with the truth telling you how they feel because they've left you in the dark. So this could be somebody that's been kind of watching you, hiding. Mm. This could be somebody who's been manifesting, coming towards you and telling you how they feel here with the Eight of Wands and Ace of Swords, the Magician. So for some of you, this is somebody that has just gone through something, a loss. And this person... <laughs> knows you is what i'm getting look at that we've got the emperor could be a taurus or an aries or a father figure uh, but this person this person wants to talk to you so i feel what's hidden from you is this person has emotions for you and they want to give you the truth this may have been somebody that just went through a recent loss a split up 
it can be with anybody, a family member, a friend, a lover, an ex, they could be a father. Um, again, not gender specific. It could be a parental figure, of, but the emperor is also somebody in position of power. It could be a um, self-employed business owner. Interesting. Because again, we have success, money, and happiness, and the moon, and I love you. And then we have the sword of truth and victory and eight of wands, communication, uh, travel. So I feel like this person, you're either going to meet at a distance or you've met them at a distance. You know of them, but they've never told you how they feel. Somebody that will say, I love you. You will have success, money, and happiness with a new beginning. Spirit's telling you whatever's happening here to embrace it and live your dreams passionately. There's going to be some kind of a breakthrough here in communication. This person, you know, is going to see commitment with you here in the future. They see a legacy with you. Okay. Wow. This is pretty intense. Let's go ahead and get a love guidance and advice message. For Cancer, what are the love guidance and advice messages for February? The updated messages for Cancer for February. Let me know how this resonates. This is beautiful. Okay, so this is awesome because the Ace of Swords is here twice, like I was saying, and the Moon. So whatever you have been in the dark about, you, you're you going to get clarity on. You're going to understand where your new adventure awaits. And Spirit is telling you not to let your emotions get the best of you. Okay? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. So don't let your mind run away from you. Don't overthink it, okay? But definitely stand up for yourself. If you feel like something isn't right for you, then then say it. Don't, don't worry about opening up, you know, and saying what you want to say is what Spirit's saying. Nice. You have support. Your spiritual team is assisting you with a situation. Reach out your awareness and call forth what you need in your life at this time. Open up and allow yourself help from those around you. Your angels and guides are working through other people to provide you the support you need. Okay, so spirit is letting you know, like you are being supported by your angels. If you want to speak up, don't be afraid to do that because you. I feel like you could be dealing with an emperor coming in here towards you in the future. And the emperor... They don't fool around. This is somebody that um, can be rigid, stubborn, um, but they're also protective. They run an empire. They're used to having things done a certain way. Okay, so you're more emotion-based. They're more practical, business-like. So they, they're going to kind of look at your relationship as a business transaction. <laughs> Seriously. So don't be afraid to speak up and stand your ground and bring the emotions out on the table, you know. Um, you could say something like, this is how I feel. This is what I need for in a relationship. They could say, well, I need the stability relationship. You need to understand when I need to go to work, you know. And you might say, well, you need to understand that we need to spend some time together going for nice dinners and, and dancing or whatever you want to do. Like, you know, because I feel like this person may all almost be your opposite. Um they're very rigid where I can't explain it any better than that. So that's why spirit saying, be very clear on, on what your wants and needs are and ask that same of them. Okay. Because otherwise there'll, there'll be an imbalance there. All right, let's go ahead and get the finance and career for cancer finance and career. What are the messages? The newest messages for February, 2023. So in part two, I'm going to focus again on your, the connection you exist, you have existing, this new one coming in here, okay? And uh, again, the mutual energy is for the person you're dealing with. I'm also going to pull the Twin Flame Oracle in part two for those of you feeling like you are in a Twin Flame connection. And we're just going to dig. We're going to find out how your person feels, okay? And in the new connection here, uh, for those of you looking for a new love, I feel like this person <laughs> that you're dealing with can be quite rigid. So we'll find out what's lying underneath that tough exterior. Mr. Shifty Eyes here. Let's find out what's under their hat. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see what's going on in finance and career. For Cancer, the newest messages, Angels and Spirits for February 2023. Ooh. 
Okay, Spirit says, okay. Don't let your emotions affect your work. Okay, I feel like maybe some of you, again, are needing that rest. You're needing to have the strength to overcome some certain things that have upset you and it affects your job. It's normal, right? Us water signs, you know, we take things to, to heart and then we tend to let it affect our work sometimes. You have to, Spirit saying, you have the strength here to overcome that. Don't focus on what was. Look forward, not back. Oh, wow. Very nice. Yeah. I feel like you're going to do that. I feel like you, you know, you know, you need to balance yourself here in order to move forward and be successful. And, and that's exactly what's showing up here. You're going to move forward and you're going to keep going here. Communication is very important with anybody you have any business dealings with or at work. Okay. Keep yourself very, very balanced. And I feel also you know, that spirit saying that some things may start to move quite quickly once you once you do regain your balance after a period of rest here. Okay. And spirit's definitely saying again, do it, do what you think is right for you. Stand up for your beliefs and what you feel is right as well. Um, that's in work and your personal life because one definitely affects the other. Okay. You have to try not to let it. Okay. Uh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Spirit is telling you be optimistic and make long-term path, long-term goals to go towards your path, and you are on the right path for you at this time. Okay, um, I feel like your hopes, dreams, and wishes are coming true. This this new adventure is coming for you, and some things you're going to need to stand your ground for, stand your ground on for sure. Don't hesitate. See, I feel myself hesitating. So maybe some of you are hesitating. Don't hesitate standing up for yourself when you need to. There's a right way and there's a wrong way. There's a bitchy way and there's a nice way. You know, don't do the bitchy way. Do the nice way, but firm. You know, it's kind of like the difference between aggressiveness and being assertive. There is a big difference. So Spirit's telling you that. Um, and don't give up. The big thing here is Spirit's saying don't, don't give up. And protect what you've created for yourself and have the courage and believe yourself to continue to move forward. Don't let your past affect your work life here, continue to move forward and you will go towards your absolute happiness here, okay? You're gonna to go towards your shiny star and you'll be able to make like long-term long -term plans and I'm getting so tongue twisted. So I feel like some of you are just, you know, maybe frustrated right now and, and fed up, but wow, look at that. You're gonna be, you're gonna be moving forward. You'll have victory here, okay, you will. Go towards your shiny star. Keep moving, spirit saying, and protect yourself when necessary. Balance yourself out here. Don't keep focusing on the path. You have the strength to move forward and you will be successful in your career. Whatever you choose here, whatever you choose, you're going to you're gonna move forward. You're going to be successful here. You'll be recognized. You will, but you've got to keep moving forward. Okay? Some of you may decide to travel for your job as well. For some of you here, you could. Mm-hmm. Some of you may be in the limelight here in the future if you're not already. You could. Wow. Some of you are going to be really shining, really successful, and getting a lot of attention and a lot of recognition for whatever it is you do. And it's going to help balance you out and make you very happy. Bottom of the deck. Oh, yeah. Spirit says you have the power of creativity here for sure. Recognition for very high quality work. Spirit wants you to be a team player, okay? Stand up for yourself when necessary, but still be a team player. Again, being assertive as opposed to aggressive or not standing up for yourself. Be that assertive Cancerian, okay, is what I'm getting. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start digging into part two. I'm also going to pull the awesome uh, fortune messages. Let's pull one now before I just let you go. Hang on. We have Ram, <laughs> stubborn, aggressive person. Okay, so this is someone, again, you may have to stand your ground on. It's here twice. You may start to deal with, you know what? This could be a boss turned pleasure um, that you're meeting, or maybe they offer you a job, or this is somebody you work with now, and, and you're going to need to kind of stand your ground with this person. They're they're quite aggressive. They're stubborn. They want things their way or the highway. Just be careful of that. Again, stand your ground. Be a team player, but be assertive and stand your ground. That's the message for you in work. That's definitely what I'm getting. Okay, and if this is in love, uh, a new connection, same thing applies. 
stand your ground okay be assertive don't you ask questions if there's something you want to know from this new love coming in spirit is saying you know if they're if you feel like they're hiding something this new person coming in then you make sure you speak your truth and you tell them exactly what time it is in a very nice way <laughs> no i mean not in the nicest way you just you ask questions and if they're closed off then there's your answer if they can't answer you how are you going to trust that person? So just be aware of that, okay? All right, Cancer, these are your messages. Again, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribing is free. Notification bell. For those of you meeting me on part two, I will be right there. For those of you seeing me next time, I'll see you next time. Uh, I do need to remind you that if you want to join the Shacy Spiritual Warrior membership family, I almost forgot. For some reason, it's not working on an Apple phone. Okay, it works on an Android phone, I was told, or a desktop. Okay, you may be able to copy and paste the link down below into a web browser. I'm not sure. Maybe some of you can let me know if that works if you choose to do so. I will see you next time. Wishing you much love, much light. This looks amazing. There's a new beginning coming and it's hidden from you, Cancer. Let's see where we're going in part two. Bye for now.